My name's Robin Payne. I'm the Properties Director at the Denver Center Theatre Company. In our department, we pretty much provide everything that's on stage that's not a wall or a floor. So that includes all the furniture, all the hand props, sometimes animals, all the food, um, and pyrotechnics, sometimes, and weapons. And it all pretty much happens in our craft shops here. Our shop is a little clean right now because we just got done getting all of Trip to Bountiful prepared. And we're just gearing up to do all the finish work on Noises Off. In Noises Off, there's about seven plates of sardines. Though in the script, it's really only about three or four plates that are mentioned. Sardines! I've forgotten the sardines! Right! These bloody sardines! We can't go on like this. We've got to do something about them. At first, when I was doing research for sardines, I discovered that sardines come in all different sizes, not necessarily the kind that show up in, in a sardine can. They can be as long as eight or nine inches. So we were all prepared to m actually make a mold and cast our own sardines, but then we decided to look around at fishing supply stores. And so these used to be lures. We took their we took the hooks out of them, so they were obviously not very dangerous. Noises Off is a very action-packed play, and they fling these, they fling sardines around a lot throughout the play. That's what it's all about. Dolls and sardines. Getting on, getting off. <laughs> getting the sardines on, getting the sardines off. <laughs> That's farce. That's theater. That's life. There, there are some plates of sardines that fly through the air. There are some plates of sardines that get dumped on someone's head, and I think we're going to use the small ones for that. And um, there's another plate of sardines that get dumped on the floor and get stepped on, and I think that's when we're going to use these larger ones. Originally, we were discussing about how we could have, like, sardine ooze come out of them, something, something kind of squishy and nasty looking. And uh, we talked about possibly splitting them open and s inserting oatmeal or something inside so that when they stepped on them, they would squirt out goo. But I think that's pretty much gone by the wayside because they're not quite sure how they're going to be able to clean it up. That's the sardines. <laughs> <laughs>